Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing great today. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to make use of the Oracle Net Configuration Assistant to configure our listener. Now, if you watch our previous videos, you'll observe that we're manually trying to configure the listener. But then that's a cumbersome process and that process is prone to errors. It's possible to make an error when making the entries. So there's actually a graphical user interface that comes with your, your Oracle software, okay, that can allow you to configure your listener with ease. And the process is faster and easier to use. It eliminates any form of error. So to do that, we'll simply open a new terminal and then type in netca. Okay, that's Net Configuration Assistant. Enter. And then wait a minute for the graphical interface to load up. So you can see we are here at the Oracle Net Configuration Assistant. So the same thing you did, you know, while you were doing the, while you were doing it manually, is the same thing you're going to do here with a graphical user interface. Okay. Now. This menu here is used to configure your listener. So you can actually write to your listener.ora file. And then this naming methods configuration is actually for your SQL nets aura. And then this local net service name configuration is for your TNS names.ora. Okay, so now that the net configuration assistant is up, um, we're gonna leave it at listener configuration and then click next and then leave it at add and then for the name I'll leave it at listener underscore test sorry let me put a capital letter test and click next I'll leave the default TCP and click on next now I'm going to use another port let me say one five two eight for instance and then click on next would you like to configure another listener i'll say no so select the listener you want to start I'll click on next listener configuration complete click on next and then finish so you can see that um, this is quite easy to use because you don't have to go through the rigorous process of having to manually impute the entry and every value. So with this method, you are sure that you're not going to make any mistakes. Now you can follow the same step if you want to delete the listener. But first, let's look at the listener.ora files. Let's see the entry. So we'll just open this file very quickly and then see the entry of the listener we just created. Good. So if you see here, this is the entry of the listener that was just created using the net configuration assistant, right? So let's try to delete that listener. So as usual, we go back to our net configuration assistant and then we leave it at listener configuration and say click next. Go to delete next and then select the listener that you just created, which is listener underscore test or if you want to delete the default listener but I want to delete listener underscore test click on next say yes next next and finish so the listener was stopped and deleted again let's confirm from the listener configuration file you can see the entry is gone right so guys, this is how you use the Net Configuration Assistant to add or remove a listener. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was interesting to you. If it was, kindly like it and share it widely. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon so you don't miss out whenever I upload another valuable content. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.